We got the recycle truck going. Okay, we'll get there soon. Chicka boom, chicka boom, chicka boom, boom, boom. Hey there, you are watching How to Pastel with me, Gail Sibley, the place to be to learn about tips and techniques and all things to do with the world of pastels. Now, have you ever wondered how to make more interesting grays in your paintings? Well, if so, this Q&A is for you. I'm gonna show you how I make grays, and in the process, I am going to create, wait for it, 50 shades of gray. I know, I just couldn't help myself. Anyway, today's question comes from Amanda, and Amanda writes, Dear Gail, I am so frustrated with how dull and boring my paintings look. I live in the north of England, where we have many rainy gray days. Even on these days, the landscape looks so gorgeous that I just have to paint them. But my paintings of those landscapes usually turn out so ugly, I could just cry sometimes. When you paint gray overcast scenes, your paintings look colorful and full of life. Your grays sing. Can you please share how you do it? Thank you for all that you do, Amanda. Thanks for that, Amanda, and thanks for that really great question. Now, the first thing I want to say is your paintings are probably not as ugly as you say they are, uh, but that's a, a topic for another time, but I just wanted to say that. Let's get back to your question. Now, you haven't told me how you're creating your paintings, so I'm just going to have to do some kind of guessing, I guess. You may be blending with your finger, putting on colors, blending, and that does tend to sort of make a can make a duller gray you can also be picking up grays or more muted colors more neutrals instead of pure pigments like reds and yellows and greens and you know those tech those those ways of working can they can be successful but my preferred way is to layer complementary colors so let me show you how i do that These are the two colors here. Okay, let's speed things up a little bit here. Quite a few squares to do. Uh, I chose five different brands to use. They're the ones that I have the most colors and selection. And uh, so I just did that just so we could have uh, a range of different colors. Because what I was doing was when I was looking through, I was really looking for as close to complementary colors as that I could find. Also in different values, some light, some middle, and some dark values. Some of the some of them are mixed. You know, I've got a dark purple and a mid, mid value ochre yellowy color. Um, it's hard to, of course, when you've got a complement of purple and yellow, yellow is always in the light or mid value. You just cannot have a dark yellow. Uh, purple, of course, runs the, the range from light, which is the one I just used there, to very dark. So I had to kind of, you know, do what I could with what I had. And so you can see how bright, you know, so I would put the color, the original colors, above. So you can see how intense those colors are. But when they're layered, they are muted and so grayed. Now, they might not be, many of them might be, not be sort of like the purest of grays, but they are muted. And if you work over them with another color, then, you know, the more you work over, the more you can gray those colors down. But this just gives you an idea of what you can do with different colors to gray them down. I mean, you can really see the intensity of the original color compared to the muted color that is created. This is a super useful and fun exercise to do, so I encourage you to do it. So if you know me and my work, you know that I'm not a blender. But having said that, I thought it would be sort of fun to um, blend some of these so that we can see um, 
Let's see how gray they are just by, so I'll blend half of them. It's gonna take a little while, but it'll be interesting just to see. I'm just trying to clean my finger in between each. So even though these aren't, you know, gray, as we would think of just a sort of blah gray, you can see by the colors how grayed the combination is. When we layer those two kind of complementary colors, what they do to each other, they make each other stand out together, but when they're layered, they gray each other down. And speeding it up again so we can move along. Drrr, I wish I could have blended them that quickly. Haha. -ha. So there we go. We have 50 shades of gray. And even though, you know, they're not uh, gray as in a, you know, a gray pastel or gray stick of color, they are all grayed colors. So, you know, when we compare the actual color up here to the what looks like in the layer, both the blended and just the layered without being touched, you can see how much grayer they are. And these grays are so much more interesting than just using a gray, a gray pastel. You know, you've got gray clouds. Well, the gray clouds, if you look carefully and you see what's there, you will see yellows and mauves and sort of burnt siennas and all sorts of colors. Yes, they are very toned down. They're not bright like uh, this purple, but they will be, they will have these colors in them. And gray is made up of the complementary colors. So the three or the three primary colors will make gray. Some version of gray with, depending on how much white is added. So this makes a really interesting gray. And when you squint your eyes, when you look at it, you see different values. You see these pops of color, but on the whole, it's a much, uh, it's a sort of grayed down look. 50 shades of gray, yeah. I do hope that helped Amanda. And now I'd love to hear from the rest of you. Let me know below how you translate the grays that you see out there onto your paintings. And as you know, the best conversations happen over on howtopastel.com. So get on over there and leave me a comment. And while you're there, be sure to subscribe to our email list because you will get exclusive content from me and my guest bloggers. You'll also get any special giveaways and any updates and news that I don't share anywhere else. I hope you'll share this video with your friends. And in the meantime, keep painting and let your heart and soul sing. You have a unique vision, so paint it and share it with the world. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time. Turn it on, baby. Turn it on. Turn it on, baby. Turn it on. Turn on the camera. You have to turn the camera on to get anything. Okay. <laughs>